Have you ever looked at your student loan balance and wonder why it just doesn't seem to go down? Are you feeling overwhelmed by the high interest rates that seem almost criminal? If so, you're not alone. Hey, I'm Stanley Tate, a student loan lawyer, and today we're going to explore a crucial question that could save you thousands of dollars in years of stress. Should you refinance your student loans? Now, we all know that when we signed those loan documents years ago, we trusted the adults who told us it was the only way to pay for college. As we struggle to make a dent in those loan balances, it's time to take control of your financial future. In this video, we'll dive into the world of student loan refinancing, uncovering when you should and shouldn't refinance, and ultimately help you decide if refinancing is the right move for you. So stay tuned, because this information could be life-changing. Whoa, that felt a little bit dramatic, but it kinda is though. So what is refinancing? When you refinance your student loans, you're essentially trading in your current loans for a new loan with a private lender. The goal is to secure a lower interest rate and longer repayment term, which can save you a significant amount of money in the long run. And if it's right for you, you'll be better off if you refinance sooner rather than later. But as with anything in life, it's not always that simple. You see, refinancing isn't for everyone and it's not guaranteed. To qualify, you're gonna need to find a bank or lender willing to take on your debt. And before they do, they're gonna need to look at your loan balance, payment history, credit score, income, credit cards, auto loans, housing payments, and your payments on your federal student loans. Now, depending on the state of all of this, you might want to refinance now or later down the road. So that's refinancing in a nutshell. If now you're thinking, okay, got it, but is this the right thing for me? Let's find out, shall we? There are three situations when refinancing could be a great move for you. First up is if you have private student loans. If you refinance a private loan, you won't lose any federal protections like income-driven repayment plans or loan forgiveness programs. But I wanna be clear, if you refinance a federal student loan, you're gonna lose all of those rights. So keep that in mind. Now, another good thing about refinancing a private loan is that many lenders don't charge application or origination fees. So if you've got a private loan and you're looking for a lower interest rate, refinancing could really be a no-brainer. Now, another time it makes sense to refinance is if you've improved your credit score since taking out your student loans. If this is your situation, you may now qualify for better terms. Now, the best rates are usually gonna be offered to those with a credit score above 700 and a low debt to income ratio. If you don't meet these criteria, don't worry. You can still refinance, but you're gonna need a co-signer who has both of those things. But keep in mind that if you choose to use a co-signer, make sure you both understand the requirements for a co-signer release. Many lenders will remove your co-signer from the loan only if two things are true. You made 12 straight months of full on-time payments and you qualify to refinance the loan in your name alone. If you're missing either one of those things, your co-signer will stay on the hook for the loan until you pay it off. The third time you should look to refinance is if you wanna switch from a high variable rate loan to a lower fixed rate loan. With recent increases in variable rates due to Federal Reserve actions, locking in a fixed interest rate loan could provide peace of mind and financial stability. You'll know what your monthly payment will be month after month after month, and you won't have to worry about your payments increasing because the Fed has raised rates yet again. And here's the best part, you can refinance more than once. So if rates dip again in the future, you can seize the opportunity to switch and get the best deal possible. While there are situations where refinancing could be the perfect move for you, there are also times when it might not be the best idea. Let's discuss some of those scenarios now. First, you wanna hold off on refinancing if you're pursuing student loan forgiveness. If you refinance with a private lender, you're going to lose access to federal programs like public service loan forgiveness or Biden administration's large scale forgiveness plan. So before you rush out to refinance your direct loans, Parent PLUS loans, staffer loans, and the like, make sure you're willing to sacrifice the forgiveness programs you might be eligible for. Second, refinancing doesn't make sense if you want or need income-based repayment options. These repayment plans take your income and family size into account when calculating monthly payments, potentially lowering them significantly. But private student loans don't offer this option, so consider this before refinancing. A third reason not to refinance is if refinancing would result in a higher interest rate than you currently have. This may seem obvious, but it's crucial to avoid refinancing if it won't save you money in the long run. A final reason to skip refinancing is if you're currently behind on payments. A poor payment history will lower your credit score and make it harder to get a good interest rate on your loan. So before you start applying to refinance, Finance, take a few months to get back on track with your payments and improve your credit score. That way, when you go to refinance, you can get the best deal possible. And if it doesn't look like you'll ever be able to refinance, you can check out this video over here, which is all about what to do with private student loans. Now you know when you should and shouldn't refinance. Now let's talk about where you can refinance your student loans. You've got your banks, your credit unions, online financial institutions. Basically, there are a lot of places where you can refinance your loans. Online marketplaces like Credible and LendKey can 
and even let you shop with multiple lenders at once without doing a hard credit check. Now, I know there are a lot of options out there and it can feel overwhelming, but don't worry. Just focus on these three things and you'll be good. Firstly, refinancing is all about getting the best interest rates and terms for your situation. So it's okay to switch lenders if it means saving money. You're not looking to make friends with the banks, you're seeking to get the best deal possible. Now the second thing to do when choosing a lender is to look past the interest rate and monthly payments you can get. Instead, you wanna focus on other factors like having the ability to pause payments with forbearance or deferment. You see, life happens and you're going to need a break. So before you sign on that dotted line, make sure you understand how long of a break your lender allows. The final thing to keep in mind applies to those of you who need a co-signer. If removing your co-signer from the loan is important to you both, it's crucial to find a lender with a co-signer release program. Not all lenders offer these releases, so make sure you choose a lender who does and that you understand all of the eligibility requirements. Now, as we wrap up, let's quickly recap what we've covered today. Refinancing student loans can be a game changer for many people, but it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. First and foremost, if you have federal student loans, come here. No, even more here, you need to think long and hard before refinancing. You could lose valuable benefits and protections like access to loan forgiveness programs and income-based repayment plans. It's only worth considering refinancing federal loans if you have a short repayment period and rock solid job security. Now, on the other hand, refinancing private student loans can be a smart move, helping you save money with lower interest rates and better terms. Just make sure you review your payment protections and feel confident in the financial stability before taking the plunge. All right, now that we've navigated the world of student loan refinancing, remember, you want to shop around for the best rates and pre-qualify before applying. And with that, I bid you farewell. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.